So you hear all of these people talking about this thing called macros, and you're left scratching your head. Macros? Macro what? And now you want to know all about macros because so many people are getting amazing results. But you don't know where to start because it all seems just so damn confusing. As many of us just think food is just food. Today we are going to talk just about that. Stay till the end because I have a surprise for you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica Vargas, or you can call me VV. And today we are going to be learning all about macros and what they are, where they come from, and how you can use them to get the physique and health goals that you really want. Macros are talked about everywhere in nutrition these days, and it can really leave you quite confused. And when you are using macros for fat loss or muscle gain, even pregnancy, or for your menstruation cycle, today we are going to baby step you into macros and just really focus on the basic knowledge. The word macro is short for macronutrients and it came from the Greek meaning large. And this is because macronutrients are nutrients that we get in a large amount, like the amounts that we get when we cook up a piece of steak, right? In terms of how many grams of protein we get per steak. Macros are broken down into categories of food that we eat every single day. And there are four macros that we are going to be covering, protein, fats, carbs, and alcohol. And they should be playing a big part of your overall healthy diet, at least the first three, and alcohol maybe being the optional for the fun days. All of the macros are very different from each other in terms of their properties and their molecules and how they digest and what type of body composition they will give you at the end. So let's start off with the most important macronutrient of all for fat loss and lean muscle physique, protein. The word protein was actually diverted from the Greek language. And what it really means, it means prime importance. And protein has a major essential role in our body. One gram of protein provides four calories of energy. And did you know that it also increases your thermogenesis due to the cost of the energy that it takes to break down that protein in your digestive system? So proteins are actually made up of long chains of smaller molecules called amino acids, which actually contain a nitrogen and protein is the only macronutrient out of all that contain nitrogen, which is why it's important that you need it. There are 22 amino acids in the human nutrition and nine of which are considered essential because you simply cannot be formed in the body. The human body needs amino acids in specific ratios necessary for growth and repair of various tissues in your body. Like, did you know that your whole body is actually made of protein in different forms? Like your skin, your hair, your bones, your ligaments and tendons, and of course, your muscles. In this sense, protein has an incredibly important structural function in your body. On top of that, protein is essential for the formation of enzymes, hormones, antibodies, and other signaling chemicals in your body. In fact, all of them are proteins which make it very specific chemical function in your body. Our bodies are actually very complex. We are pretty much protein-based machines. That is why protein is so important. And in reality, all of the foods that we eat have some sorts of protein, but the amount of protein can vary hugely. For example, 100 grams of lean steak can have about 25 grams of protein where 100 grams of just broccoli has only 3 grams of protein. You see the difference? One of the highest qualities of protein available due to the amount of essential amino acids that it contains, and especially leucine, is found in milk protein, such as whey protein and casein. Other excellent sources of protein in animal sources include eggs, fish, and lean meats. And great sources of the purest plant protein base include things like tofu, tempeh, and textured vegetable protein. Yet most beans, legumes, grains, wheat, oat, and barley, and quinoa are mostly carbs and not protein, and nuts and seeds are mostly fats, so make sure you don't confuse the two. So how much protein should you eat? Well, that really depends on your specific goal, but a good general starting off point would be about a minimum of 1.2 gram of protein per kilogram of your body weight is usually a good place to start. Next up, fats. 
or lipids. They give you nine calories per one gram. Fats are mostly very energy dense type of food and of all macronutrients. That means that just a small amount of fat can provide the same amount of energy of a larger portion of protein or carbohydrate. Just that you know, fats like butter, oils, saturated fats that come from animal or plant sources are all in the same macro group. They all have the same amount of calories. Some, however, are better than others, which I will be talking about in future videos to come. Fats have a lot of different functions in the human nutrition. They form the membranes around every single cell in our body. They act as a very efficient form of energy storage, otherwise known as body fat, and they help us absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K, an essential fatty acid that play very important roles in our immune system and in our inflammatory responses. How much fat should you have in your diet? is really dependent on your personal preference and your activity levels. Yet you can still lose or maintain weight on a high fat diet as long as you adjust your calorie needs. One thing to point out though is that, that very low fat diets can actually have a negative side effect like a lack of energy, poor physical performance, and a decrease in sex hormones, which can even lead you to a complete loss of your libido or sex drive. So make sure that you don't go below 0.6 grams a kilogram of body weight. Next up is carbohydrates, the one that we love and hate. One gram of carb gives you four calories of energy, meaning that they have the same amount of energy content as protein. They are formed with various sizes of chains that make carbohydrates more complex in how you use them in your health and your physical and there is no minimum requirement for carbohydrate in your diet, as they really are not considered to be essential. But don't let that statement fool you. Just because something isn't essential, doesn't mean that it doesn't have some type of benefit. And I personally see that when my clients that come from low carb diets, when we add some carbohydrates into their diet, voila, they start getting better results. The primary function that carbohydrates have in the body is to act as an energy source. It is easier for the body to create energy from carbohydrates than it is from fats and protein. However, if you don't have enough carbohydrates, high intensity exercise performance, such as lifting heavy weights or endurance exercises can definitely take a dive. In terms of your own diet, I usually tell people to use the remainder of their calories after they have calculated the amount of protein they need and the amount of fat they need, and then use the rest for the carbohydrates. Some people require more or less, it really depends on you, and that's where you work with a coach. At this point, I also want to mention fiber, which is technically a carb, but it is mostly undigestible. Our gut bacteria can actually ferment fiber and produce short chain fatty acids, which we can get some source of energy from and has also been shown to have multiple health benefits like improving your blood sugar control, reducing our cholesterol. Sources of fiber include whole grain cereals, legumes, fruit, and vegetables. Finally, the fun macro known as alcohol, which has seven calories per gram of serving, and it is the second most calorie dense macro next to fat. Besides being a source of energy, alcohol really doesn't have any other health benefits for us. Well, maybe a little bit of mental de-stress benefits, <laughs> right? For some of us, for sure. Yet, it really shouldn't make up a large part of a healthy daily diet. A great way to learn about macro content of the foods that you eat is really just to start using a macro tracking app. It can help teach you how each one of the macronutrients that you're currently eating affects your body and gives you an idea where you might be able to improve in your diet. I help many of my clients through their macro tracking app on a daily basis to see if they're in line with their goals and their macros. I give them suggestions on how they can improve their day as they go through and this helps them understand the food choices that they're going to be making the next day or the week to come. Understanding macros has helped many of the women that I work with to get out of that bad and good mindset mentality about food. It helps you look at food in a more neutral way. When you understand calories and macros and how they affect your health and your performance and your weight loss, 
you can begin to understand that you can still include some of your favorite foods into your diet. It teaches you to think more critically of the food that you eat instead of just accepting silly, good or bad food labels that the diet industry has put on food. That ability to think critically gives you more freedom with the food that you eat. And that really is a good thing for your mental health and longevity. I hope I have really cleared up some things about macros. Now it's time for the surprise that you've been waiting for. And I wanna give you a gift for checking into my channel today. Just send me the DM code healthy food swap list and you will get my food list swap list. Meaning you can actually look at the list and swap out any type of food that you're getting bored with. So you can stay close to your macro, stay close to your goals, but yet add variety and flavor. That's it for today, you guys. So don't be shy and please let me know any questions or comments that you have below. It is really the only way I can keep creating content that you want to know more about. And remember, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. It's the only way to help me grow and allow me to share all of my love and passion about nutrition and fitness with you. Thank you so much.